Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day outside. It's warm, it's sunny, and I'm inside, and I'm gonna do what I have to do to survive. No, I'm just kidding. I, I just uh, removed the items that we tested because it did work to print the, print the inventory. Now, like I always say, you can do it any way you want to do it. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. You can, you can make the menu your own way. You can make all kinds of different types of things. Like I have, I have a big menu here. It's not always nice to have a big menu like this. And the reason being that sometimes a big menu like this might be too cumbersome to deal with, right? Kind of remembering all these numbers like 10 and all that stuff. So it's annoying. You might just want three or four main menu items and then you have smaller menus in your main menu right so you can print out for example from character sheets you can print out your inventory and whatever like all that stuff you can do that if you wish i didn't do it right now might do it later but just so you know uh but yeah let's go ahead and go into event and i remember i rolled rarity right roll and then we create a weapon or an armor with that rarity we do and then we'll get a weapon or an armor drop so that's good we have that hopefully it's gonna drop for us now as we run the game I'm just gonna try it I'm gonna go into travel travel player turn let's just attack something okay zero um, attack let's see if we can kill this enemy attack alright it's going well alright so there we go alright so I got a leaf cutter item I did get one and it did drop see now one problem we're having is this little level that's the name level and then we have this and that is something being printed out um, we're going we have to go into weapon and then get a string and then what it's print level rarity wait name level rarity it's the rarity that's being weird get rarity so what if we go into weapon.h and we say I think it's an item return this rarity alright and if we go into item again let me just see so I did everything correctly I do set rarity to zero I don't set rarity to anything here and uh, that's why I think this rarity equals rarity that's why we're having problems now if I run this again no wait let's go into character and just get all these back run it and we'll see if we get an item show inventory now rarity is showing so we got this two uh, level two rarity three um, damage bin damage max okay so that's cool that's cool let's fix some stuff let's go in here and let's say get name and say LVL and then rarity and then damage 2 damage max and then value like that and the same thing in armor just a quick fix let's do the uh, type now we're gonna have to we're gonna fix that later but level rarity and then defense like that let's run this and hopefully we'll get something that looks a little easier so bro saver type 2 level 2 rarity 1 alright type maybe some type of thing like this that's really a little easier to read then like that type level ready to def same thing in weapon let's just copy this actually and then just paste it into these uh, just like that 
All right, cool. So we'll just say that works. Who cares? I'm not going to check it. I'm going to remove all of these. And what we want to do now is we want to be able to equip a weapon. All right, so as we go in to, as we print the, let's say, print the thing, we want to be able to equip a weapon. So in character, let's make a function. Let's make some functions here. Uh, void equip weapon weapon and then index. Let's get an index int index. Unsigned. Oh wait, what index what index? All right. So let's equip weapon and then equip equip armor index so let's take these and I'm hoping this is gonna work but I can't be sure for a hundred percent where am I gonna put them under add item I don't know if we have add item uh, we have what's the last? add to stat I guess that was the last one I'm just gonna put them down here who cares really there should be it should be ordered you should do your code a little cleaner than what I'm doing it uh, but initialize this first print stats get a string get a string is wrong let me you know what let me just do this update stat add to stat no print stats and then get a string and then I want to just make sure we close that so get a string get inventory a string put that as that and then level up let's take level up and let's put it under where it's supposed to be all right do that this is just for my own little thingy update stats is good add the stat is good equip weapon equip weapon it's beneath add to stat equip weapon armor there we go all right, so take damage. Where's take damage? Take damages in modifier. But whatever. Okay, we'll we'll leave it like that. But still, this weapon equals this inventory at position index dot. Now I don't want to clone it. So this is what we have to do. We have to make a weapon pointer, all right, and set it to null pointer. Now this is where our programming skills come in. Now doubly equals a dynamic cast of weapon pointer. Um, weapon, we're gonna dynamic cast this thing into our weapon pointer. There we go. So we're going to try to dynamic cast that item in that index position to a weapon. All right. So if we'll say, you know what we can do? Equip item. Equip item. That's what we're going to do. And we'll call it equip item. Like that. So we'll start with checking if it's a weapon. If w not null pointer then we'll do something then we'll say is weapon all right else we'll make a armor a pointer I said it's a null pointer and then we'll do the exact same thing to this thing all right so we'll say a is a dynamic cast of armor and Okay, if it wasn't else, if it was a null pointer, we're going to do this. First check for weapon. If it's not, then we will 
No, we could we could actually do this. If double is not an alt pointer. Uh, else and then else if a is not an alt pointer. If it is an alt pointer, then we'll come down here, we'll check it armor, and then else there is some kind of error because it's none of those. And then we have a big problem, alright? C out error equip item. Item is not armor or weapon. So it's good. So let me just cut cut that out. Let's say if it's a weapon, then we'll say this weapon equals uh, dereferenced W. All right, a dereferenced W. Else this, then we'll switch a a type get type. Switch case armor. Uh, wait, types armors armor type uh, arms case armor type arms break. And this is what we're gonna have to do for all of our. I think there are four, and then there's a default. Uh, C out error armor type invalid. New line, new line. And the same thing in. Uh, but that's okay. We just set the weapon. Arms, legs, chest. Let's start with head, chest, arms, legs. That's about it. That's all we need. All right. So then this armor head equals the reference A. And we're going to do the same thing for all of these. All right. Chest. Armor head. No, wait, wait. Armor arms. Armor legs. So there we go. That should be fine. That should be fine. That should be fine. Error armor type invalid. If it's null pointer, null pointer. So that's cool. Uh, if we say if index is less than zero or index is greater than this invent in this inventory no my index is greater than character wait am I in character oh wait this inventory dot size And we'll say C out no valid item selected. No valid item selected. New line, new line. Oh good, Lord Hammers. Okay, so that's equip item. And if if that item else let's do all of this if there was a valid input greater or equal to so here we go now we can equip an item I'm gonna point to it and we're gonna do the copy constructed thing so that's cool let's just say that works 
let's just say that works. Now let's go into our how, how long is the video? 40 minutes? Okay, so I set it up for the next video. I'll continue doing this in the next video, alright? But thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.